all right guys so i'm gonna make a quick video um as you can see it's uh well my flashlight shine but it's it's uh getting dark so uh i was trying to make this video earlier uh and my phone died and i hope it doesn't happen this time so i'm gonna try to make this quick um and i will say this real quick throw it out there uh, i know my videos are kind of longer sometimes i know i kind of you know go off track a little bit i apologize for that uh i will say you know if you can you probably want to watch my whole video because i'll throw out you know at random parts um you know tips and helpful bits of information that um you know could could help you you know you might never heard of it um that's that's how uh i've picked up several things is you know by watching people's whole video and not you know just trying to skip through it so if you're one of those people you know you're probably gonna miss out um but here we go so uh yeah the subject is wheels chrome wheels to be exact and um cleaning the barrels of them not going to do the face tonight um as you can see the face does not look bad uh it's in pretty good condition um the guy took care of the what what this is is uh if you've seen my previous videos you've seen my gmc denali my detailing mobile uh gold denali and uh so it come it's got chrome wheels but they're 16s they look tiny on that truck so i've been wanting a set of uh 20 inch wheels found some off a guy they came with the tires as well um but i would have paid uh paid 500 dollars. i would have paid that just for the wheels um but the only downside is that the barrels the guy did not take care great care of the barrels as you can see and the problem that i found uh that's kind of messed me up is as you can see right here if i can get the light right this is the chrome plating starting to come off from where they were so neglected um so you know i could have i could have just left them you know yeah the face looks good um but i decided you know two reasons one i figured i'd make a video for anybody that comes across this situation that does want to get them looking better um and yeah two you know i thought hell they'll you know i'm gonna try to make them look better so anyways this one here i've started on and so you can see you know part uh that looks better and then part that still looks dirty um you can see the lip the lip is what i wish the process that i've uh, done on the lip is what i wish i could have uh done to the whole thing which is this is four aught four zero steel wool and so all i had to do was uh i sprayed some mcguire's wheel brightener um on and then i took the uh four aught steel wool and just rub you can feel it grab you know until until you feel it you know get slicker uh easier to glide it'll glide um that's when you know you know uh you've got it pretty clean um and so the way it looks right there is you know it's pretty shiny that's just with uh four i know steel wool probably scares a lot of people um but they do make a very fine you know four aught um not super aggressive uh, it's perfect for doing this but like i said the problem the reason i can't use that steel wool on the whole thing is because this is sharp and jagged and that steel wool will catch on it and it just tears steel wool all to pieces that you know take you forever um but now this part right here you know i just did it uh that is the four aught steel wool that's why this looks better uh more shiny than you know say this um but what this is from is a grill brush which is you know very aggressive very stiff uh you know steel brush um so i'm not telling anybody to go about you know using this on your wheels um you know this is what i decide to do but uh the four aught and i've got double aught as well 
um, you know, as far as the barrels go, you can, you know, I definitely will say you can use four aught or double aught to clean uh, the barrels. Um, this Meguiar's wheel brightener, it's really good stuff. Dilute it four to one, um, really helps with, uh, you know, brake dust. And then I've got a bunch of this stuff uh, that I got on clearance. And so, you know, it says dub, but you see right there where it says, uh, if it'll focus in, developed by Meguiar's. So uh, I'm pretty sure they've discontinued this, yeah. but um, wind's blowing bad. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Um, so pretty sure they've discontinued this. And now Meguiar's, I know Meguiar's has come out, it's called like the ultimate all wheel cleaner. And so it's uh, basically the same chemical, uh, does the same thing. The only difference is I think it comes out clear um, and then will turn to like purple. Whereas this one comes out a neon yellow and then will turn to, you know, a dark purple. Um, so this, in this situation, uh, I hit it with the Meguiar's wheel brightener first. Uh, it works, but in this particular situation, I think this does work a little better. And basically what this is, is the same thing as CarPro Iron X. Um, but uh, Scott with Dallas Paint Correction made a video about the new Meguiar's Ultimate All-Wheel Cleaner, which is like the same thing as this, and CarPro Iron X. And he said that it, isn't, it ends up being cheaper um, than CarPro Iron X for you. And it's readily available you can probably get it at walmart so um it's just a tip for you but yeah this stuff right here it seemed like it was working better for me uh so i would spray this on let it sit for a few minutes spray another layer on and then start uh going to town with uh the grill brush and so that's why you see this more of a dull finish the more shiny finish is the 4 aught um, but even this does look, you know, better than this. So, and it's in the barrel. So, you know, uh, that's why I say do not take a grill brush to the face, the face of any wheel. Um, I don't care how bad the brake dust is. That's just uh, probably no coming back from that. So, but the, um, you can, you know, four aught seal wool, uh, you could take that. You know, if you've got real bad brake dust and even some pitting, I know like in the corners, you know, if wheels have been neglected, it'll build up and it'll pit in the corners. So, you know, you could take uh, one of those products there or both um, and then uh, spray that on there let it sit for a few minutes spray it again and then start using the steel wool um, and they do make uh, double lot which is two zeros uh, you could use that first if your wheels are really bad if the four aughts taking you too long you could use the double lot then come back behind that with the four aught and then to finish it off you want to take a metal polish. They do make um, polishes that are specifically for chrome, but um, uh, I've seen people use, you know, the aluminum polishes as well. Um, and I'll show you real quick uh, a tool that you can use to uh, polish your wheels with uh, that polish. All right, since it's so windy, uh, I'm sitting... Uh, outside of my car got the phone inside the car so hopefully the wind um, won't be blowing y'all can hear me uh, hopefully the audio before this wasn't too bad so anyhow this uh, mother's power ball um, they make this one which is the big one big round one they make a cone and then they make a like a small ball that comes with an extension uh, maybe about a foot long um, I have that one and I have this bigger ball. I don't have the cone, uh, you know, but the cone is useful, uh, especially for like those wheels I just showed you to get in the corners. Um, the cone would probably be good along with this big ball. 
um, but you could do it you could do all of it with cone I'm sure uh, but you you know you can get this at your you know I think they sell them at Walmart uh, you could get them at um, I think I got this one at O'Reilly's so um, reason I got them is because I got them uh, while they were on sale or maybe even clearance I know I got them cheap um, otherwise uh, there's there's ones that are you know definitely better out there but I think flits uh, is one of them but um, these will do uh, and they're readily available most time so um, and I've got a Meguiar's polish uh, I would show it to you but um, it's not by me I'm not gonna walk all the way out there uh, but it's a Meguiar's metal polish I think I got it from Walmart um, I haven't seen it uh, at like O'Reilly so um, and they might even uh, stop carrying it at Walmart so uh, I don't know why but it seems to work pretty well um, so what you'd want to do is like I said if you hit it with the double zero come behind that with the four zero four aught and then finish with something like this uh, mother's powerball and you know either a chrome or aluminum finish to get that you know high mirror shine 